What's going on guys, it's Unique here. So yesterday we got Tempuros, which is the new skilling boss for fishing, and I already made a video on it where I killed 10 of them and I showcased the loot. The problem was that the audio seemed to be a little off and people called me out for that, which is completely understandable, so it's not the greatest watch, but if you want to get your first Temporo skill, I think the video is going to be useful. Regardless, this next thing is going to be kind of confusing to the people who have never killed Temporos, but is going to make complete sense to the people who have killed them. So there's two types of points when you're talking about Temporos. First of all, there's the points when you're killing him, which can be gained by doing pretty much anything within the fight, loading the cannons with fish, fixing the totems, putting out fires, etc, etc. But then there's reward points, which you are granted after every kill. And the amount of reward points that you get is dependent on the amount of points that you got during the fight. These numbers are still up in the air as the boss was released yesterday, but you need a minimum of 2000 points in order to receive any types of rewards from Temporos. On average, I would get about 4000 points, which would mean that I would get 4 reward permits, which are basically points in this case. But I decided to collect 250 of them and fish out all of the rewards at once, which I think is actually a pretty cool thing because you don't just get crates or you don't just open a chest, but instead there's a little pool in front of the boat that leads to Temporos and you fish the rewards out of the little reward pool which I think was pretty clever and you actually get 10 experience for each reward that you fish out so from 250 of them I got 2.5k fishing xp which isn't too great I also have to mention that I got 250 points from 60 kills I know that the kill count says that it was 70 but like I said I made a video yesterday where I showcased the loot from 10 Temporos kills. But if I got 250 points from 60 kills, that means that I got on average about 4 points every kill, which correlates to about 4000 points within the kill of Temporos in order for these numbers to make any sense. I also find the whole process of fishing the rewards out of the reward pool really relaxing. For example, it's going to tell you that you can find 200 more rewards in the pool, or like 150 etc etc it's basically going to count it down and then it's also a pretty afk process so what types of rewards can you get from Temboros? now in yesterday's video i already went over the uniques but i'll go over them very briefly first of all there's the tome of water which is obviously based off the tome of fire uh, it gives you unlimited water runes and it boosts water spells as well as curse spells it is charged with soaked pages which i did actually get 46 of them but for the Tome of Water, someone told me that they sold it for 6 million GP 45 minutes after the release of the boss, which is pretty interesting. But apparently the Tome of Water is now worth around 400 to 300k, which is pretty depressing. Uh, I cannot confirm that, those are just words that I was told. Anyways, you can also get the Tackle Box, which can store the full angler's outfit, your rods, your bait, etc, etc. Pretty much fishing equipment. And uh, the whole purpose of the tackle box is to minimize your bank space. You can also get the fish barrel which can be filled with 28 fish and it doesn't have to be the same kind of fish. It can only be emptied at the bank though and the fish have to be raw. Probably the most common reward is the spirit flakes which act as bait and they have a 50% chance of catching an extra fish when you're fishing any fish in the game except for the ones that you fish while you're fighting Temporos. I'm probably going to make a video tomorrow testing out these new flakes and how good they are and I also want to test the fish barrel because I did get one. Catching the extra fish with the spirit flakes is not going to get you any extra experience though so it's purely for GP but this does mean a slight boost to money making from fishing. You can also get a mini Temporos pet and you can get a recolor of the harem pet which is pretty cool and you can also get a mountable swordfish for your player owned house. As for the other loot it's mostly just raw fish. You can also get some planks, some fishing bait, some feathers, some seaweed, as well as steel nails. Another interesting item is the caskets, which can be opened, and they seem to contain some rune chain bodies, some uncut gems, some silver and gold bars, and also some jewelry. And I also got an easy clue from opening these caskets, um, which is pretty interesting, I guess. I didn't complete it, unfortunately, but in total, I got 46 soaked pages and I also got the fish barrel as I said earlier as well as the tackle box. Those are all the uniques that I got 
I did also get 3,677 spirit flakes, which is going to be more than enough to make a video testing them out. When I put everything into the price checker, it came out to be just over a million, but prices are crashing, so I went over to the Grand Exchange and I sold off all of the items. And after I was done, I was left with 956k GP, but I would say it took me about 5 hours, getting 250 reward points, so is this worth it? Obviously not, but it's new content and I know you guys are interested in seeing all the new items, so... Also, I made a poll earlier today, which uh, asked how you guys are feeling about the new Temporos boss, and the overall reception seemed to be that the boss seems kind of boring and that the rewards seem kind of underwhelming, which is exactly how I'm feeling. I think this boss could have been a lot cooler after doing like 5-10 to 10 kills, I pretty much already knew how the fights are going to go and from there on out it was just a grind and it wasn't too much fun. And I know that with Winter Todd when they released it, the rewards were super overpowered and it was really good for Iron Man, but these rewards seem really bad. Obviously there is no meta established yet, there's like 20 to 30 people every kill so we don't know the optimal team sizes. We don't know what the best way to kill the boss is yet. That's obviously going to be developed as time goes on and people kind of learn the mechanics of the boss better. Anyways, I hope you still enjoyed this video though. It was a lot of fun to make. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content like this. And also like I said, tomorrow I'll be testing the new spirit flakes as well as the new fish barrel on some popular money makers from fishing. So we're gonna be fishing sharks, some monkfish. Leave your suggestions to what types of fish I should go catching in the comments below and uh, other than that I hope you have a wonderful day.